for step three of making a simple Stirling engine. This episode will focus on making the top and bottom of the displacer for the Phoenix engine. For this, we'll be using two 4x10 sheets of copper, um, some half inch tubing for the displacer cylinder, a tube for the shaft, a uh, displacer shaft. We're going to attach our patterns to the copper, drill out the holes and cut them out. To attach them, we'll put some tape down on the copper sheet. I like to tape both the top and bottom of the sheet. It helps keep down the sound a little bit more we're cutting them out. And then uh, just use a glue stick to put the pattern on it. Okay, here we have um, the pattern attached to the copper. I'm going to drill out uh, the holes. The springs are going to attach here that hold the top and the bottom snugly together. And the uh, crankshaft will go through those holes. As you can see on the pattern, there's some lines that we're going to crease later with a chisel to help um, perform the bends. As some pieces will be bending up, some will be bending down. Uh, the piston will go there and the uh, displacer shaft will come through right here. So we have to drill that out as well. All right, um, for the most part, we're going to drill out the holes with this um, 1 16th bit. Um, we'll even we'll pre-drill the crankshaft, which is 1 8 inch, with it as well. I'll start with uh, an interior cutting. In this case, it's just the opening for the uh, piston. that piece that's to allow the air into the piston cylinder. We're going to cut out the outside. All right this is the top cut out. A little clean up. We got to put the bends in here, 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 and here. Um, started out cutting it with a number five blade. Switched to a number two, was having a little trouble. Also, it's very hard to pivot it. I might try something different for the backing next time I cut something out like this. It's hard to grip it too because it's so flat. Maybe gluing something on to hold on to might help. But anyway, with some time and effort, you can get that cut out pretty good. All right, for the bottom, um, I'm, I decided to attach it to a board because I had a lot of trouble actually holding it and gripping it to cut out the top piece. It came out pretty good and all, but I think this will work a lot easier. I've already cut out the fan flywheel portion of the, the engine, and I'll cover like flywheel and fan construction in a different video. I drilled out the holes. Actually went a lot easier with it on the board. Don't have to clear off the little burrs on the bottom so it won't catch on the saw. This should go much easier. That went much easier. I probably will do that every time I cut metal now. Um, provided uh, very good support. If I was doing finer details, it would have kept it from bending over. 
it would have been very helpful on the top half. Put a couple creases in here. I see marks. That's where I want to put bends in. It'll help keep uh, give some stability to the edges. Some straight bends here. Angle the tips up. What I want to do is kind of size it up with my um, displacer cylinder. So I leave enough space for the bend not to press on the glass when it's all together. So I'm going to go a little shy of the line. I'm use a chisel to put just a little bit of a crease on the marks. Help them bend in the right spot. I'm not going to hit too hard because I don't want it to go all the way through. Do a little space there. Little ding. Which one? So now I put in a vise and I'll just bend them up a little bit. Alright, we're gonna <clears throat> regrettably I had to bend the feet a little bit to get uh, get in there with the vice grips and bend those down. The end result looks something like this. Um, we'll get the paper and tape off and move to the next step. Alright, resulting engine once everything's cleaned off and the tape's removed, we'll end up looking something like this. Step three was getting a bit long, so I'm breaking it at this point. In step four, we'll pick up with uh, the assembly of the displacer with the piston cylinder and displacer shaft. Thanks for watching.